Um, I just wanted to do a quick video about our duck house that we just made. Um, this is, down the hill you can see is our new construction. So this includes a duck shed and an outdoor pen. We only just finished it a few days ago. You can see the electric fence is not hooked up just quite yet. That's probably going to be tonight's project. But we just finished the putting on all the hardware cloth and the roof outside. So you can see it's a framework outside with hardware cloth that is stapled and bolted in on the top to 4x4s. It goes all around with 2x4 construction. I have to give all the credit to my husband Jeff. He's the one who really put this together. But you can see this is the pen. We recycled their old house from their other one, which I'll show you in just a minute when I tell you what we did different this time. And we have a solid wood door, predator proof construction. We like to put clips on just in case because we have, you know, all kinds of stuff living around here just to make it a little harder for something to get in. Inside, they have their water jug, their pool. As I mentioned, this is their older house. We use this to actually protect their food from rain now. Oh, and here they come. Hi, Max. Foods, well, that's their oyster shell grit. Kind of nasty right now because it just rained. And they can kind of freely come and go. This store is from a doorstore.com and it senses daylight and opens and closes on its own so they can kind of go in and out during the day and then it shuts at night. We don't have to be at home to put them in and out anymore. Hey, buddy. Okay, so this is the inside of our shed. We put this together ourselves over the course of a couple weeks because we both work full time, so it's kind of a weekend project. Oh, sorry, honey. So this is the duck side of things. They have a little half wall so that if we ever need, or if I ever need, to kind of come in here and sweep everything out, we can just lift up this half wall right out. It's on a track. We put chicken wire in so you can kind of see them a little bit easily. Um, also, we have our little nephew who comes over and likes to look at the ducks, so we wanted the ducks to be visible and also have some good circulation in here. Yes, honey. We keep their food and their metal cans in here. Shelves are coming eventually, but for right now, that's what we use. Um, we're going to put some shelves up so that we can kind of get all this kind of stuff that's hanging out in the studs out of here. Our old problem was ventilation. So for ventilating this, obviously they have the door down here, but we did hardware cloth up at the top. My husband's spy camera. Um, we have hardware cloth up at the top to let air circulate in and out, and we did the same thing on the back as well. So they get a lot more ventilation. Um, seems like they're a lot more comfortable. They kind of go in their house a lot more than they used to. As I mentioned before, that's the old house. So I think it's a big improvement. They have a lot more space and I see them going in there just to lay down or whatever during the day. Good girl. So this is the old house. We built this actually just this summer and we pretty quickly realized it wasn't going to work for one thing. In order to clean it, we had to I, well, I had to get in there and climb down and scrape everything out with a stall fork. We used straw for our bedding originally. The original plan was to put them right on the bare wood, but that got kind of nasty and also slippery. Just kind of gross looking after a little while. And you can see um, we would use straw, and in order to clean it out, as you can see, we are super conscious about predator proofing. Yeah, you know, I had to climb in there and scrape it all out, and it was just kind of a pain in the ass. The other thing was... Um, we were a little bit worried about the snow and everything. It was super secure because we did put electric fence around the outside. We just took off all the little attachments for it, but you can see they're right here and here. So we had electric fence that went all the way around. This was kind of our other access door, and it just really, it worked, but it wasn't ideal. So we figured while the weather was still nice, we'd upgrade because we definitely fell in love with our ducks and want to get more ducks. So if I had any advice for do-overs, I would say make it tall enough to walk around in, and try to think of everything you want right up front rather than try to add things because, you know, it was a kind of a pain in the butt. They seem to like it okay, but honestly, I think they seem a lot happier in their new pen and they're able to move around. They have a lot more space. We definitely plan to expand, but we have plenty of rooms for the ducks we do want and they seem to like it. They're happy. That's what's important. 